All right, here we go again. Uh, so I plugged the holes with some butyl tape over here. You can kind of see the black spots. And then I got the little tiny hole plugged too down close to the bottom. And the bucket has water in it, the floats on it. And the dial indicator is sitting in the little indentation that we were talking about. And I don't know if you can see it, but the dial indicator is sitting on about 535,000, something like that. So I got my eyedropper here. All right? An eyedropper, I think, holds about 30 drops or something like that. But I stick it in there and I pull out one, two, three, four, five. And so now for uh, the, the five times 30, what is it? I don't know. It's 150 drops of water, and it's gone down 5 thousandths of an inch. So in other words, this thing is, you know, really is extremely sensitive. You can do, uh, uh, you can see if a water, a pool is losing water very fast with the thing, and it's uh, pretty accurate. One of the most important things about the construction of this thing is that uh, of the th three iterations I've made of it, this one seems like it's going to work the best in most pools, uh, but one of the most important things is, is the float. It's got to be light. If you have a heavy float, like don't fiberglass the, the styrofoam, don't use a metal thing full of air, or think you're going to fill a, you know, some tin or aluminum pan or something upside down with foam in it. It's too heavy. If you're gaining water, it won't push the spring up in the dial indicator. So that's a pretty important detail. Use styrofoam or something as light as styrofoam with a little small piece of metal glued to it with the indentation. And you should have pretty good luck with it. Good luck.